Welcome back to my channel. Today I have some exciting news about Google Direct AI for Workspace. That will greatly improve how you will work with your emails, docs, and Google Sheets. Let's dive in and explore how this tech generation companion is changing the game. Also, I'll be sharing some updates about Google Bad at the end of the video, so keep watching to the end. If you want to use this feature, you will have to sign up. As you can see, I've already done that, but I'm going to leave the link to this in the video description. One of the best things about this is a seamless integration into Google Workspace. You can access it directly from your favorite applications like Gmail, Google Docs, Google Sheets, and making it effortlessly to utilize their powerful tech generation capabilities. We're going to start with an example with Gmail. And you can start using this by using the Help Me Write function. You, you have access to this once you've signed up with the labs. So when you click this, I'm going to write an example for you to see. Basically, I'm writing an email to my manager requesting for leave. And there you have it. So if you're okay with this, you can just move on to insert or elaborate or have it shortened or formalized, right? I'm okay with this. I'll just select insert. And there I have it. Also an example with Google Sheets, Google Docs, sorry. You also find it here. So like the pencil sign. So in Gmail, you see it over here. Google Docs, you find it here. So when I click this, I also have the chance to write a prompt. Here I'm going to write a prompt to generate a cover letter. So write a cover letter, sorry. And there you have it. Also, just like the previous one, you have access to make changes to this if you're not okay with it. So you can elaborate and it generates another one for you. And if you're okay with this, you can insert and start making changes to this. So this gives you a good head start you can make changes to this as you wish then with google sheets right you can find it here but just in case you open a new doc and you don't find it you can see this over here help me organize right when you click this you should see this on your right i'm also going to try an example similar to what you are seeing already um so right uh, marketing campaign tracker to launch a new product so it could be any product you can specify but i'm going to start with this and there you have this as well so if you're okay with this you can just move into and set that into the table and you can make your changes as you want it has added custom drop down list for you right so basically this is what we have with duet ai very it's, it's going to be an important companion for most of us and it's going to help make a lot of work easier as i promised i was going to share some updates with google bad this is a short video so the last time i spoke about google bad mainly i focused more on the text generation capabilities um, in the past few weeks some updates have been made to it and part of them is uploading pictures and then getting descriptions of them and we also have the text to audio and we also have the ability to export codes into um, collab or replit so i'm going to try a few examples so the first i mentioned is um, being able to get description of 
um, a file you upload it's not the best yet but um, of course we have a lot of use cases for this so i'm going to try one i'm uploading a picture i have in mind i downloaded a bear um, at the riverside so let's see how best you can describe this so i'm just going to type in Describe the image below. Yeah, so you will find some inconsistency, but basically, it has everything right. And um, so it shows a brown bear standing at the river, it's facing the camera. You can say it's facing the camera based on the direction the best looking at. So the face light brown color, which is true. The bear is standing on his hind legs or hind legs, which is wrong, right? So it's not the best, but basically it can give you um, a lot of what you're looking for, right? And if you don't want to go through to read everything like me, if you're a lazy reader like me, you can just use the text to speech. Right, this is also a new update. The image shows a brown bear standing in a river. The bear is facing the camera and its fur is a light brown color. The bear is standing on its hind legs and its front paws are in the water. The bear's head is tilted slightly to the side and it is looking at the camera. Yeah, so, the yeah, just to explain that, that's very audible right? and it helps a lot of us who cannot read through quickly. Then lastly, I'm going to try going to try to generate a code and see how we can export it to collab or replit for those for those who be using this mostly for coding so let me write this right um eda that's exploratory data analysis so i need a python code for this for example data sets Yeah, so here you have the code generated i'm not going to read through to see if it's right or wrong but the whole idea about this is to show show how you can export this right so now we have this feature when you click share you can either share uh, you can share with to, uh, to your docs or gmail but the new the new updates here you can export to collab or replicate so if you are writing a code in collab or, or replace you can easily export this and then continue with whatever you're doing right so when you do that start creating a new notebook in your drive so when you open your drive you should find the collab over there the same with replace right so yeah these are the new updates to bad in my next video i'll be talking about some of the new ai tools around image generation right? there are a lot of cool features from mid journey stable diffusion Leonardo, um diffusion b I'll be speaking a lot about them, free really and all. So stay tuned. Thank you, everyone.